Hi everyone, Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time I'm playing about with Digger, terrains and overhangs from Amandine Entertainment, who was a guest of mine in my live Twitch stream or the dummies.twitch.tv slash the Messi Coda. If you want to catch that video and watch the interview, you can do it on the VOD section of Twitch. Amandine Entertainment's got a pro version of Digger, which allows you to dig away at runtime, not just in the editor. That's exciting. It's also got a complete Moxwell system called Ultimate Terrains. The thing about Digger is that it can turn small parts of your existing terrains into that voxel magic. So you can just dig away and have a lot of fun. Sit back and join us. See you all in a second. Here we are inside a demo scene of Digger from Amandine Entertainment. And I'm just going to go over here, click on tools, click on Digger, set up terrains. Ba -ba -ba -bom. We're gonna go in, importing some more things here. It's gonna do its magic, doing its magic. Just gonna wait for the magic to be done. It's doing its magic there. And we got here on the left hand side, Digger Master. Its magic got done. And it grabs here the textures that we're gonna grab over here. See? Hello. Gonna go paint. There they are. Hello. See, it's grabbed them and it's stuck them in. Cool, groovy, lovely. And now I'm gonna. Dig away. See here we've got my brush size. I can change my brush to sphere, half fit sphere, rounded cube, stagmite. I can go down and I also can go upside down and I can have it down going up. I can add, also use the same brushes. I can paint. You can only look, I it's not going to do anything here because it can only paint on the voxels. That's what it does. And I can smooth and I can reset. So I'm going to dig. I'm going to do a very little. A little small little dig here. I'm gonna go and grab this one here. So you're not really you see a slight little, slight little dig away. Yeah, resolution of the text on this train. It's not great, so you're gonna see yeah, little chunky bits. Now, if I go and do paint, you can see because I can't do that. It's not doing it. And then, oh, so it's actually quite funky. If you wanted to make a road. Uh, Lovely. Now, let's go crazy. Let's go crazy and say uh, cube, and I'm gonna just gonna dig away. Let's go. Go massive one. Oh, hang on. So that how easy it was. I just clicked it, moved my finger, and it went all the way in there. So you're gonna a little more gentle, gentle way. And if I make my opacity. And I'm just gonna slight little digs. The beautiful thing about this, the beautiful thing about this, if I change this now to a half cube and I start adding, I'm gonna start adding on there. And then I like drag them out here. Because it's a half cube, I've got myself a little overhang there. You see how it's very easy to accidentally grab the wrong things and start painting away? If I make my brush a little bit smaller, there you go. I'm just gonna brush that out there. Make it look a little bit more realistic. And if I now go back over to my terrain, you see these little squares? Well, that's the magic. That's the magic going on. If I See so digger, there's my digger object, and then I go show data, bang, and now I can see all of this magic that happened. And if I open up, because now there's a little down arrow, you can see all of the chunks, all of my little voxel chunks, my little chunkies. If I hide it completely, you'll see that what's left is actually a big hole in the terrain where it got replaced with the voxels. And it's very clever because it means that I can now import any projects in any terrain. That's a Unity terrain, and start chopping away parts. Start chopping away a, a beautiful terrain. I don't have to convert an entire terrain to voxels to take advantage if I just wanted a small part to be voxelized. And if I wanted to be doing this at runtime, I could get the pro version, and then I could start digging away. For example, you could dig a mine in your game using Digger Pro. So you've got a big mountain, and you just wanted to start digging away. And as it's digging away at runtime, it will start making box on terrain. Or oh. what well, you could do, the imagination goes wild. 
and let's use some of that imagination with somebody who's made a bit of a better demo scene than I could accomplish. So, if paf poof, like magic, we're going to import something into our project. I've imported in and I've loaded up the demo scene of Nature Manufactures Meadow Environment Dynamic Nature Pack. That's a bit of a mouthful. I have to say but it is a beautiful project with a beautiful demo scene and that's exactly what we want as we stick in the digger setup from the menu and we play about we can check here you can see that's got the textures correctly put in and we're going to start digging away and if we now let's do a bit of digging let's so I get this brown or this one here go in okay it's got some floaties in. Just like that one there. Okay, and what if we change that to paint? There we go. And to change that. Can I make that change the opacity of that? And what it I can't tell. Can't tell if it did or if it didn't. Make that brush smaller. If you wanna there you go. And if I dig that because you have to has to be voxel-y, otherwise put that opacity away. There you go, so a little a little a little touch to it, slight little touch. There we go. And if I now switch that to, to paint, there we go. Slight. There we go. Now we can paint over. So there we go. That's better. And boom. But now I've got a problem where I've got some floaties. And if I went over to my terrain, and I'm going to just remove these, it's not actually doing anything. Because, uh, sure they, there we go, these are daisies. Daisy, daisy, give me your answer to. Let's, let's just turn those off while I'm just delete them. There we go. The genus spawning those daisies where I want my hole to be. Digger will remove grass automatically. It won't remove trees or prefabs like things spawned with Gina. And I'm gonna. Oh, there's my little cameraman. Oh, a bit, a bit lagged up. Here we go. And I wonder what script is that? It's gonna be the post processing, isn't it? It's missing the post processing script. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it in. I'm gonna stick the post process post 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 question so that's when it comes fast. Post post processing I can't even do it. Post processing script in this project. I'm just gonna pause and be back in a second. And I'm back and we've put it in. And I've also put an extended fly cam in there. You know what we're gonna need to do? We're gonna need to make a bit more a bit more of this going on. Um, hang on. Almond paint dig. I was going to say, hang on, something's not right here. Okay, I'm going to dig a little. I'm going to do just gentle strokes. I'm going to get deeper as I as I go. There we go. Be careful though, as your as your finger slips inside, you can go deeper without realizing it. Be very careful. Alright, that's better. Now, oops. Look at that, just floating around. Just gonna push that one in there. There you go. This is gonna get a nice little, nice little badges little hole. I see I've got it very, I've got very low. It's got more control over it. A little bit more control. I'm gonna make my brush size smaller. Yeah, just wiggle my finger around as I go. Nice little. There we go. Very soft. 
very soft little wiggle. And there's. If I want to just put a touch of a little, little overhang there, I'm just going to push it out. There we go. There. The mud is just raising up. Peaked up, and then that's that's interesting. Let's that's a bit of grass that's in there hanging down. That's good. A good little natural touch there. I like it. A little happy little accident. That's good. I'm just going to go a little bit deeper. We're going to go a little bit darker. I'm going to go a bit smaller. Can I go? There we go. Oh, as we go, we're going to further in. You see that straight away we're seeing a little bit more. It's a bit moist. I think I'm using the right texture on that one, but I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. Now I'm going to go strength, increase my capacity there. Get a little bit more strength as well. Oh, I like that. I could, I could play with this all night. I could play with this all night long. I'm just going to go now. Muddy down the bottom. Muddy down the bottom. It goes deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole. Now, that's it. I'm going to push, push up what's in there. Lovely. Just, just carving away. Just carving away in here. Give it a little, little poke. A little poke. That's nice. It's a little bit too rough. Let's just smooth that out. Let's just smooth that. Yeah, is that actually? No, maybe it's doing that thing. Now, what we're going to do is dig around. I'm going to dig one of these little badges. Oh, that's it. That's it. Lovely. And I'm just going to increase that opacity. Oh, there you go. And he's got a little hidey hole to hide about in. Tell all of his friends. That's where he's got the kids hiding in there. Now, a rounded cube. Just start chopping away chopping away in there oh, you're gonna have to change that put on paint and we are able to change the top of there oh, no, it seems to be a Let's dig that with opacity down low there we go now it's because it's taking the colour of the terrain above. Lovely. Oh, that's, that works really well. If we come up to the top, make sure that's fine down there. Oh, that is lovely. I'm happy with that. I'm a little bit cautious that having an entire voxel world will be a drain on performance. I'm worried about that. Now here we are. Here we are. With an entire world, with just a small itty bitty bit in voxels. And if I just grab my digger, so if I had this in one time, I could actually be digging in my garden. Or adding a pile of mud. So if I make that go a bit bigger, increase my opacity, turn that one into a half sphere, and I'm gonna just gonna add a pile of mud. Okay. Could have could have done that possibly a bit better. <laughs> so not the best, not the best effort, Messi. I have to admit. Um, let's let's book that smaller. And there we go. There we go. That's better. So um, that is a definition of overhang. That is 
That is our beautiful overhang. There you go. Trying to get good overhangs. There you go. Made a little, made a little mud cave. That was entirely intentional. Obviously, of course it was. This bit here could do with some smoothing. Let's see. Brush size. Oh, it did, it, did, it did actually do something. It did do something. There we go. See why they say you can't use smoothing in one time. Okay. But now, let's stick that out a bit. There we go. That's better. Yay! And I wonder how, I wonder how it would look. And a lovely nature manufacture scene. So loads of bits just poking out all over the place. I don't think they'd be too happy with us. Oh, this has got the stretches on the terrain, so you just got just when he's got that little stretch going on and the texture. Just poke it out. Poke it out until it's happy. There you go. There you go. It's a little poke. I'll we'll poke you every now and again. Beautiful. Don't be scared to give it a little poke and say you've got it looking the way you want it. Lovely. Oh! And now, all that delicate touches that I've just done, we're going to go a bit crazy and just go Wiggle! Here we are inside Nature Manufacturer's Meadow Environment Dynamic Nature Pack. Very pretty and I've got my little hole that I've made so delicately. There's a bit of a grass. Oh, oh no, it's, uh, no, we'll get rid of that because that's just floating. We'll have to get rid of that. And we'll pop down here. That would be nice if that was a feature. If I could tick a little tick box and it would remove any prefabs and trees. And if I could lay the grass back down over the voxel terrain, those features would be great. Here's our mound that we've put down there. Could have done a little bit better attention to detail there. And then we've got this massive hole which has got some floaties. Again, yeah, it'd be nice that little box. We have a massive hole that goes down forever. Lovely. So now imagine this and one time imagination just goes wild with the things that you could come up with, doesn't it? Beautiful pack from nature manufacturer. This is just the standard shader that I'm in. Oh, lovely. Now, if you do like these little videos that we're making, do click on that like button. Put a comment in, because it does help. The more likes and comments you put in there, it helps the little YouTube algorithm find it. Heck, even a dislike has exactly the same impact on the algorithm as a like does. It just doesn't look as pretty. Talking about pretty things, look at this. This is a ram spline here as well in this pack. Oh, that's lovely. If you're going to get yourself Digger and it's on a sale, don't forget you can upgrade to the Pro and then you could be doing this in one time. In one time you could be digging around in your garden or in a farm or even making a grave. If you do like it, click it. Till next time! If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time!